what would you say some of the challenges are that these young people face once they do become homeless? Well, there the, many of the things that we know about homelessness in general apply to young people, and then there are some specific things the uh, that apply to youth. So the you know major impact on health and mental health and well-being, um, nutritional vulnerability at an age when they're still growing, um, exposure to to crime and violence. Um, research from uh, Covenant House International identified that 20% of young people report uh, being trafficked. Um, they did some work at a major shelter in Canada and found they asked young people in the shelter, have you been approached while you're in the building to, to, you know, to get involved in um, sex work? And almost all the young women said yes. Right? And so that's partly because, it, and the same thing happens with group homes, right? When we create institutional structures, we're basically warehousing young people with a big neon arrow on the roof that says, here they are, come and get them. And so pimps and their proxies will go into emergency shelters posing as young people who are homeless and recruit. So, you know, that's a particular thing for youth. Um, again, to go back to like, what do young people need? We have to remember that many are still in the throes of adolescent development. And so being homeless is a very negative thing to experience when you're in that situation. I mean, being in a home where you're being physically, sexually, or emotionally abused is also a horrible thing, but we have to come up with alternatives rather than the emergency shelter. So that prolonged exposure can have lifelong impacts. Canada's national point in time count in 2018 identified that 50% of all people who experience homelessness had their first experience before they were 25, right? So something's going wrong. If we if we address youth homelessness in a serious way, not only would we be uh, producing better outcomes for young people and their families, but we'd probably have a long-term impact on chronic homelessness, right? So we need to focus our attention on that and not make it a distraction or an afterthought or something we get to after we house everybody who's chronically homeless. The pipeline is youth homelessness.